If you've watched my channel previously, you'll know that I've had a slight kind of reluctance or hesitance to make videos about narcissistic personality disorder, as I'm aware that, you know, I'm not an expert in terms of the medical profession. I'm, I'm an expert in my own relationship. And, and I feel like I have some experiences to share that may help people. And that's the real reason I started this, this channel was just to, to share my experience having gone through a toxic relationship with someone who's suffering from narcissistic personality disorder and borderline personality disorder. And having gone through a very painful end to that after two decades, I, I thought coming out of the other side of that, it would be useful to share that information with other people who may be going through the same thing with the view that it may help someone who's is currently struggling. I may be able to give them some advice that worked for me, you know, from, from personal experience. And my aim was, was really just to put out at least a few videos just to make sure that I'd kind of told my story and you know if it helped one or two people out if it if it helped one person get out of their relationship then then that would be brilliant or resolve their relationship whichever way it goes my intention was never really to to make it an enterprise and and I've always been slightly nervous about the what I call the industry of narcissistic personality disorder so so as I was learning about it myself and and going through my own kind of journey of of education, I, I found some really useful channels that I've mentioned on here before, um, and and I found some really disturbing channels that I felt were were targeted towards monetizing narcissistic personality disorder. And then in particular, what bothered me about those channels isn't someone making money from it. I'm, I'm less concerned about that. It was more that the incentivization of making money in, or incentivizes people to to continue the cycle of narcissistic personality disorder and, and in theory keep people trapped and, and keep people feeling like victims. And the problem I had coming into this is I didn't want to be part of that problem. I, I wanted to be part of a solution, I wanted to help people and, and I figure as long as I have something to say I'll carry on making those videos. And it's got to the point at the moment where I feel like maybe since my own journey feels like it's coming to an end and, and coming to a conclusion, I feel like I'm pretty much there on my own journey. I feel more and more like I'm I'm struggling to find things to say. And I never want this channel to become, you know, a regular channel where I just put out videos on narcissistic personality disorder or borderline personality disorder for the sake of putting them out. And what I notice more and more, even from some of the channels that I respect quite a lot, is the is the drive by YouTube and I think it's an addictive thing that having a YouTube channel does is when you start seeing your viewership start seeing your subscribers start seeing which videos do well it, it incentivizes you to try and make content to try and receive views add money onto the top of that and and I think it gets even worse but I see it more and more I see I see new terminology I see new themes coming out you know I see I see hot topics coming up that everyone seems to jump on and have to make a video about. And and for me, that's not the point of doing this, you know. And I think that what's going on in the world at the moment has probably disillusioned me slightly more, you know, not so much just with, with NPD channels, but you know, and I don't even want to say the word of what's going on at the moment because I don't want to be part of that problem. But obviously with global events and people being worried, I've seen a number of channels and a number of, you know, different themes suddenly putting out advice and, and trying to relate their content to what's going on in the world. And, and I've seen that on a few NPD channels. I've seen it on channels as far as, you know, guitar channels, which it just seems to me quite disturbing that that with everything that's going on, the potential impacts that it may or may not have, and, and however drastic it may be, that people feel the need to add their weight into it on a subject that really isn't that important to them, you know. And, and I think, I think watching a, I was watching a video, a, a channel yesterday, being a guitarist, I follow quite a few guitar channels. There was one there particularly that started talking about the impact of the current world events on on musicians, and I just found it a either really narcissistic that that the first thought was, oh, think of the musicians because their gigs are being cancelled, whereas anyone self-employed across the world at the moment is going to struggle. But but also, it, I, I don't think it's so much a narcissist approach. I think it's more that people are driven and incentivized when they depend on a channel, when it's, when it's their main, when YouTube becomes your main focus, 
which it isn't for me. Um, I think you, you're looking constantly for new topics to make videos about, to make content about in order to drive views. And that shouldn't be the way around that it happens. I mean, I, the videos I've made, I think I've made almost 40 now. I feel like I've had something to talk about. I've had something to share. And, and as that's coming to an end, I don't want to feel like I should make videos just for the sake of making videos. You know, I, I, don't, I don't really care if the channel grows. I don't really care how many views they get, how many views the videos get. My intention was always just to make videos with the, the thought that it would help people out. And, and the contacts I've had with some of the, the people who are watching this channel has confirmed that that, that seems to have happened. I've, I've had telephone conversations, Skype conversations, email exchanges with, with viewers, you know, some of whom seem to, to think that, that my advice has helped. And that's really all I intended to do. And, and I think where I find myself now is slightly disillusioned with YouTube in general. I, I don't want this to be a channel where I feel like I have to put videos out, you know, and, and I think slightly disillusioned with what other people are doing with, with channels. And, and what the way I look at it is this is, if my intention was to help educate people on NPD or give advice that may resonate with them from, from someone who's gone through it, I feel like I've made enough videos to say everything I can about NPD. And, and if someone needs to learn, there are numerous channels out there that do it you know, equally well or better than I do. And there are, there are probably thousands of hours out there if someone wants to search to try and understand the topic. So I don't feel like there's that much more to add. And like I said, I don't, I don't want this to be about feeling like I'm, I'm a slave to making content or that I'm trying to drive viewership. My, my goal was to try and help. And hopefully I feel like I've done that. And I think where that leaves me at the moment is I don't think I'll be putting any more videos on this channel. At least I'm not going to proactively make any more videos on this channel. And I'll leave the channel open. I don't think I'll close this down because the videos I've made can sit there and people may stumble across them and they may still help. And But I don't, I don't want to feel like I have to make more videos when I don't feel inspired to make more videos or at least I don't have a specific subject to make videos around. So... So this will probably be the end of where I where I leave this channel. Now, I'm not going to close it. That's where where I, I figure I'll leave this is if this is my last video on the channel, then if you're coming across this or you know if you're someone who's been watching the channel for a while and you do want advice or you do have questions, then you have my email address in either the about page or in the in the comment section below. If if there are any questions you have specifically anything you'd need help or if you'd like a chat at any time, any, anyone would like to talk about things, you know, to get some advice, then then please get in touch. I'm more than happy to to have conversations with people that may help out. And by the way, if anyone's concerned, I've had a, I've had a number of people who have got in touch with me to have conversations that have they've offered to pay for those conversations. But like I said before, I'm, I'm not a professional. This isn't what I do for money. That when, I, when I've had conversations with people, I don't charge a coaching fee. I'm not a life coach. I'm not a you know, an NPD expert, you know, so, so any conversations I have are just between two people who've had a similar experience. There is no charge for them. If I can spare the time, I'm happy to have a conversation. So if you'd like to get in touch and ask specific questions or and ask for advice, then please do. I'm, I'm more than willing to spare the time if, if I can. Um, also, if, if there are specific things that you would like me to make a video around, if there are specific questions that come up through that, that I think may be beneficial to other people then then i'll put those i'll make a video on it specifically and put it up on the channel but i think i won't be proactively making videos for the channel but if there are things that i come across if people do want to get in touch then i'm happy to make a video and put it on there just for the record so that people have got an archive of, of content that may resonate with them but other than that i think my main focus now i've got a lot to do in life i really need to focus on my profession a significant amount um, I may I may create another YouTube channel in the future around some ideas I've got around that, but um, who knows at the moment? I, I've got a lot of writing to do. Um, extremely busy with what's going on in the world with my job at the moment, and, uh, and and a lot to do in life. But if if you've been watching this channel for a while, then I guess thank you for watching. I hope it's helped. If there's anything else you'd like to to see, then please let me know. I say I'll leave the channel open. Um, I will make more videos if people have got specific things they want to talk about. And if you'd like to get in touch, then please get in touch. And I'm happy to spend some time sharing stories or, or offering advice where I can. Um, 
but uh, I guess my, my last take on it is I wish you all good luck and, and I hope you can resolve the situations you're in. I hope you can recover and I hope you can live happy, productive lives. And, and I hope the one takeaway from this channel is that I can prove that it can be done and that no matter how long or how deep the abuse that you've gone through is, there is a light at the end of the tunnel and it does get better. And it's very possible to get back to a place of happiness and, and productivity again. And hopefully this channel may have helped you slightly on the way there.